Hey guys, this week we're really gonna try to handle all the pressure, our tire pressure that is. Let's get started. Hey guys, it's Kathy from OriginalWheels.com and today I'm going to teach you how to check your tire pressure using one of these things. You know, these things remind me of a show I used to watch where they had um, these little pens that they would wave around and then they would transform into something else. Uh, but these aren't going to help us transform today, these are just going to help us check our tire pressure. So this thing is called a tire pressure gauge and I got this for about $3 at a nearby gas station and I'll show you how it works in a second. So why is it so important to check your tire pressure? Well, you wanna make sure that your tires are not overinflated or underinflated. If your tires are overinflated, uh, you're going to have a more bumpy ride because less of your tires are actually touching the road. Um, so it's just really uncomfortable. You have a higher risk of uh, popping your tires. And if your tires are underinflated, it's harder to stop and you could actually cause tread separation on your tires, which um, could cause an accident, which, you know, you always wanna avoid at all costs. So first things first, you're always going to want to check your tires either in the morning or um, after your tires have been idling for a few hours. In my case, mine have been idling for about uh, three hours, I want to say. So they're a perfect time to check your tires. And the reason for this is uh, if they're too hot, you're going to get an inaccurate tire reading. So your tire pressure is based on a thing called PSI, or pounds per square inch. And that basically lets you know how many pounds of air are in your tires. So if you want to know um, how much PSI your particular vehicle needs, there should be a label that looks just like this in your car. In my case, it's in the sidewall of the driver's seat, as you can see right here. Or you can check your owner's manual. See right there, it says see owner's manual for additional information. And if we look right here, we can see that the front tire should be at 34 PSI, the rear should be at 34, and the spare should be at 60 PSI. Go ahead and get your tire pressure gauge ready and let's get started. Okay, so we have our tire pressure gauge. Now all that's left to do is check our tire pressure. So don't be afraid to get down and close and cozy to your good old tire here. And you're going to locate where the valve stem is. In my case, mine is right about here. And mine's covered by a cap. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew that. I'm gonna place it to the side for now so I don't forget it later. Now I'm going to take this end of my tire pressure gauge and I'm just going to stick that right onto the valve stem and give it a firm push. Now, as you can see, a little measuring stick popped out. And if you take a look at mine, I don't know if you can see that, but mine says about 34, 33, which is uh, normal for this vehicle. So go ahead and take your cap again and just put that back on. And guess what? That's it. That's how you check your tire pressure. So just make sure you repeat that process for all of your tires including your spare. So how did you do? Hopefully your tires were at the correct PSI. If not, go ahead and read my blog. I explain what to do if your tires are overinflated and underinflated. I'm Kathy from OriginalWheels.com, signing off. See you next week, guys.